Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So dungeons are coming back to the game next week, Monday, uh, and they come in, uh, for, me, for my time, it'll be uh, 1 p.m. Eastern, I believe, because um, that's when, uh, like, the day, uh, like, the new arenas come around and everything like that, so uh, that should be the same time that these dungeons go live again, um, but they've changed a few things. They've made, uh, it looks like they've made the experience overall better, and they're basically saying that dungeons are going to be a permanent addition to the game. They're not always going to be in there. Um, they're going to kind of have like an on-off cycle, but it's going to be something that they're going to uh, continue to bring back on uh, on a somewhat frequent basis, I believe. Uh, and uh, there's there's something in this in-game message that we just recently got that um, that basically confirms that. So I'm just going to quickly go through the uh, the changes here. Uh, it's not 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 too much. So. Uh, the first thing here is early exit, so if your co-op partner quits, you won't be stuck. You'll be able to exit the room you're in before the timer counts down and still earn rewards. So I think there was uh, there was some sort of an issue with this the first time the dungeons came around, where if uh, the partner you were in the dungeon with quit, um, or, or something happened, you could get like locked in the dungeon and you had to like wait for the timer to count down or something like that. I never, I don't think I ever personally experienced that issue, so I'm not 100% certain on what the issue actually was. But it's nice that um, they've they've put that in there now, so that if people do encounter that issue again, uh, you can just hop out of the dungeon and you don't have to wait like an extra like 10, 12 minutes or whatever, however much time is left on the clock. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Another nice little thing here that's going to affect uh, probably some of the early uh, well the early game players definitely, but uh, won't really affect the end game players is that the fights in the dungeon are now going to give you experience, uh, which is really kind of nice because dungeons don't take any energy to move. Uh, your champions just go on cooldown, so it's kind of nice for uh, players that are still leveling up that uh, getting the, uh, that you'll be getting experience from these dungeon fights. That's uh, that's a nice little addition there. And uh, so now we're getting into um, where it uh, they basically confirm that dungeons are going to keep coming back uh, because there are there's a new permanent dungeon currency. It wouldn't make sense if they're introducing a permanent currency uh, for a temporary thing. Um, so the uh, so it says dungeons will now have a new permanent currency, currency dungeon artifacts. This currency will carry forward to future dungeon events, so you don't need to worry about losing any progress when the event ends. So they even say it right here in the message that dungeons will return again at some point in the future, which is really really cool. I really liked running the dungeons. Uh, they did get a little bit tedious though with having to grind out all those milestones daily rather than maybe like weekly or something like that, um, but. They, they were a lot of fun. I ran a lot of them with you guys. Uh, we did some on stream. We had a ton of fun. So I'm looking forward to doing that again this time around. Um, but it's nice that these will kind of be like a, a recurring thing. Uh, and then there's also going to be a new store to go with it. So the new store will contain dungeon-specific potions, revives, and new dungeon crystals. Now, I don't believe there's been any additional forum posts uh, about this. Uh, I will... Um, uh, take a look at the uh, the MCOC forums button right there and uh, see if that gives us any more breakdown on those new dungeon crystals And I'll also have a link to that forum post in the description down for you guys if you want to check it out for yourself um, But yeah, I'm interested to see what these dungeon crystals will be uh, if they're gonna be similar to the ones that we saw the first time around uh, Where you get like the basic champions and uh, and things like that um, So yeah, so gonna be really interested to see uh, what are uh, what is inside those dungeon crystals uh, and then the last thing here is they've just revised uh, some of the difficulties. So they've updated dungeons to allow summoners to find challenges more suitable to uh, uh, to their level. So they've just revised some of the difficulties a little bit to make it uh, uh, easier, I guess, for uh, for some newer players or for some lower level players, or I guess maybe dependent on your roster, perhaps that you queue up with. But um, yeah, it's nice that they're uh, still kind of like tweaking the uh, the like the matchmaking algorithms and things like that. And then it says, for more information, you can click the link down here to go to the forum. So we are going to do that. Uh, we're just going to see if there's any additional info on here. So permanent dungeon currency, uh, earn experience in the dungeon fights, dungeon store. Um, so it does not look like, uh, maybe a little bit further down. Okay, so there's new milestones here as well. So let's take a look at this. It says, so we've revised the milestones to make them easier to obtain this time around, but have also adjusted the rewards accordingly. This does mean that you won't actually be able to get a five-star crystal from just one iteration of these new dungeons, so you'll want to hold them between iterations as well. So uh, it is by uh, your uh, account prestige. So if you're in uh, zero to 500, uh, your milestones are right there at the top. 
Um, and so I'm actually just going to scroll down to the, the very bottom one since that's uh, probably most of us uh, for watching this video here. So 4200 plus, there are six milestones. Uh, and uh, the, the top milestone there is uh, 3750 points. So I can't remember if that's... Uh, Actually, I think that's way lower than before because I think it was 7,500 was the top milestone previously, 6,000 or 7,500, something like that. Uh, so that's nice to see that the um, that the point requirement is much lower. Uh, and then we see uh, all the artifacts we get and the gold rewards as well. And then here we go, new crystals. So we're bringing uh, we're bringing you all brand new selection of crystals. I butchered that, but oh well. Uh, with a new roster of champions, these crystals will no longer rotate, so they'll be available until the end of all three of our upcoming dungeon events. They're still locked by your prestige, though we hope to change this in the future to a different measure of progression. A bonus change to these crystals is that they no longer give just the basic version of these champions, meaning a duplicate champion will give eight signature levels for a three star, 20 sigs for either a 4 or 5 star, as well as the gold, iso, and shards that come along with the duplicate. That is amazing to see. Oh, I'm so happy they did that. I'm very, very happy they did that, that they're no longer the basic champions. It's full dupes, it's full awakenings, the sig levels, the, uh, the gold, the shards, everything. I'm so happy they did that. So the three star crystals uh, cost 3,000 artifacts, four star crystals uh, are 9,000, and five star crystals are 27,000 artifacts, which is the same amount um, that they were the previous time. Um, so let's take a look at these crystals here. So I'm curious to see um, if some of these champions are a little different, and I'm already seeing Gladiator Hulk in one of them, and Blade, um, so that these are definitely um, updated with... Uh, with some more recent champions. Let's go over the crystals here. So the first one's got Nebula, Killmonger, Miles, Morningstar, Cyclops, um, Blue, uh, Blue Cyclops, no, Red Cyclops, um, Colossus, Spider-Man, Star-Lord, Taskmaster, and Captain Marvel. Second one there is Hood, Blade, Venom, Age of Ultron, um, Drax, uh, Cosmic Spidey, Bishop, Gladiator, Hulk, Moon Knight, and Blue Cyclops. Third one, Karnak, Hulkbuster, Jugs, Gwenpool, Red Hulk, King Groot, Sabretooth, Storm, Superior Iron Man, and Void. I'll be going for that one because I want Void. Um, next one over has got Medusa, Dormammu, Black Panther, Iron Patriot, Gambit, Old Man Logan, Howard the Duck, Electra, Venompool, Captain America. Uh, and then the last two, we got Agent Venom, Mordo, Yellowjacket, Hela, Sentinel, Ronan, Winter Soldier, Beast, Rogue, and MODOK. And then we've got uh, Thor, Ragnarok, Iceman, Spider-Gwen, Cable, Iron Man, Rocket Raccoon, Groot, Mephisto, Black Panther, and Sentry. So there are, unless I missed, um, there's no five-star Archangel, which is interesting because he was in the first, he was around the first time. Um, there's no Stark Spidey this time. There's no Ghost Rider this time, but, uh, I guess like, you know, like the trade-off, we have Medusa this time, who I can't remember if she was in there last time. I don't think she was. Uh, we've got Gladiator Hulk in there, who's a pretty good champion. Blade, like arguably less champion in the game. Uh, Void as well, so I'm like super, super stoked to see a crystal that's got Void in it. Th that's the only one I'll be going for all day. Just going for the Void crystal. Uh, so yeah, so then Dungeons return on August 20th, and we will be available until September 3rd. You must be at least level 16 to partake in Dungeons. So there we have it. There is the updated version of the Dungeons. These will be coming this coming Monday. I'm super, super excited to be running these. Uh, I'm basically just going to be doing these on stream with you guys. Uh, just to get the get all the points you need for the day and then you know just helping you guys get some more points as well So I'm pretty sure all of our streams between like September like August 20th and September 3rd are probably gonna be dungeon based unless there's a like a, a Four-star basic champion in the arena that like we really need to pick up for the roster um, So then we'd be doing arena in that case, but apart from that I think it's basically just gonna be all arena or all dungeons So I'm uh, I'm super super excited. I'm looking forward to these changes. They look really awesome and uh, yeah, I just can't wait to run uh, some more of these and can't wait to get some shots at 5 Star Void. Uh, but we'll have to wait for, I guess, the second iteration of Dungeons to come back before we have a shot at Void. Um, because uh, I can't remember exactly where it said it, but um, actually I think it was in here. Uh, bonus change to these crystals is they no longer give basic ISO. No, that's not it. Where did I see it? New milestones. Um... So you want to hold on them between iterations as well, but I thought I saw I thought I read something about uh, third iteration. Um, 
there we go for all three of our upcoming dungeon events so i'm not sure if that means that um that they're only going to be bringing back dungeons for another three times uh i'm not exactly sure about that uh, or if this is just going to be kind of like you know like two weeks every like couple of months or something like that um but we'll just have to see anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked what you saw be sure to hit that like button and uh, feel free to drop a sub on the channel as well and uh, come by a live stream and maybe we can run some dungeons together i'd love that uh but for now i'll take uh take care guys and i'll catch you all in the next video